What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 14 Jeff Hardy figure. Now, this is our second edition of an Ultimate Jeff Hardy figure from Mattel, and it's our last one, more than likely, unless he signs with WWE or comes back at some later date, and we somehow miraculously get another Jeff Hardy. I don't know if we're going to get another one, so this could be the last one, the second and final one, but I do enjoy the look that we got. I'm glad they went with this era. I'm excited for it. I do have my quarrels about the figure. You know, I have questions about the figure. Will it be great? You know, Jeff Hardy's one of my favorites of all time, so there is that, but if you guys would like to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Now, it's a very busy time of year right now with SDCC. We have preview night last night. We have this review. We also have reveals today, so I'm just on the constant grind right now, and I appreciate you guys stopping by, so if you will, leave me a like and comment your thoughts on SDCC and this figure so far and if you like the torso change for this figure now that being said guys here is the front viewing window of the packaging you got a beautiful image of jeff you guys know how i feel about white gear it makes the world go round i like a lot of what we got going on of it you got jeff hardy at the top down here you got the ultimate edition logo mattel logo beautiful looking figure in the front window on the side you get a great image of jeff there probably photoshopped in some way jeff hardy down here on the back you get a great image of the figure jeff hardy again a beautiful image of him here not even wearing white pants you got the little bio read down here if you'd like to read it you can pause it now some career info and body stats right there jeff hardy and ultimate edition logo on the side and that pretty much wraps up the charismatic enigma so with that being said man let's crack jeff hardy out of his plastic prison and see what he's all about so here's Jeff Hardy out of his packaging spinning round and round as we do and I'll just go ahead and say it man I gotta get my hands on multiple copies of this figure I already got fix ups running wild in my brain and so yeah I'm gonna need multiples of these it's kind of similar to the ultimate edition Jeff Hardy the first go around you know the Amazon fan takeover version really upset that we are not going to be able to get another ultimate edition anytime soon hopefully we'll be able to get our unrivaled version from AEW and Jazzwares and maybe even a supreme edition one day because I think that that would do amazing and that we could get some really crazy stuff like oh my god can you even imagine but he's got to take care of himself get himself straight and i hope he can do so man but this figure looks fantastic i can't wait to dive into the details with you of course we are going to dive into his accessories first then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at jeff hardy himself man so let's go ahead and do that and see what all you get when you buy this ultimate edition jeff hardy figure so diving into jeff hardy's accessories and everything that you get with this jeff hardy figure i mean i guess the most important part of ultimate editions is i uh, I guess the accessories right i mean that's a that's a big quality part of it but let's start off with the head sculpts this head right here is very interesting like look at this expression the mouth open right there he's staring off to the left just a tiny bit he's got some nice face paint going on these head sculpts look a lot better than i thought they did in the few first images that we saw but i like the face paint going down i think the likeness to jeff is there the short hair haircut you know i'd like to see some more like color in the hair but i i, I don't know i think it works you know it's got the headband on there i think you can customize this up do some good stuff. He's got a nice beard and blonde hair going on. I mean, Jeff's always had, you know, his own look going on all the time. He still does to this day. He doesn't fit in a box, you know, and that's just, that's what makes him so special. But the other head sculpt is the screaming expression. Love this. Think it looks just like Jeff Hardy. Again, the hair matches well. The face paint is nice. The sculpt is really good. The hair color, the beard, everything. I mean, these are really good head sculpts. I actually like these a lot. They look a lot better in person than they did in the images. I was not impressed in the images and now these look really damn good. So I'm really excited for them. This is good stuff, man. So if you were looking forward to these head sculpts you should stay looking forward to them outside of that we do have our cloth t-shirt accessory with the you know the young hardy graphic right there pretty sure that says hardy got the nice black tank top it's got the velcro on the back goes on the figure well as you guys will see but yeah uh, you know cloth accessories make the world go round i don't i'll never complain about a cloth shirt regardless if it's completely accurate or not to this time we also have his necklace accessory which is really nice and it's just a plain silver you got the hardy boys logo there it's really nice you know you just pop the head off slide it over the torso and it looks really good this time we have a black towel compared to the white towel we have seen with all of his other different elites and different figures like that. So it's the same sculpt as those. It's just in a solid black instead of the white, I guess, because he wore white pants in this figure. So there's that. And then for your interchangeable hands, you do get your mic holding hands. One side is like the body paint hand, and then you have the sleeved, you know, arm and hand over there. So you get your mic holding hands. You get your signature Jeff Hardy pose hands with the two trigger fingers right there, or whatever you want to call that. Just signature Hardy hands. I mean, that's what they are. And then this is really cool. They gave him the Randy Orton 
posing hands, which I think was excellent because he actually does use these a lot. And I never really even thought about, you know, using these with Jeff Hardy, but it makes complete sense. You even have the nail polish on all the hands. So these all look good. I like the choice of accessories and I like the choice of hands. Uh, really good stuff right here for the Jeff Hardy Ultimate. Now getting into Jeff Hardy, man, starting out the head sculpt, you guys can see the expression is just a little odd, right? I mean, uh, that, that is what it is. But uh, we already covered the head sculpt, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. There's the loose necklace there. This new torso looks really good. It looks a lot better than it did on his last Ultimate Edition. You guys know that they made him way too jacked. It was way too big, but you do have your butterfly joints in here that have all this body paint on there. It's like the glow-in-the-dark body paint going down the whole arm. And I think this whole arm, not only is it pinless, but I think it's uh, painted or molded in lime green. So if you, like, removed all the paint, it would be a lime green sleeve or whatever. But there's the mic holding hand. You got the belt on there with no nothing on it. I think that would have looked better if it was black with silver belt buckle. But it's not terrible, you know, a whole white belt. I'm fine with that. You do have your white pants, which look really good. You got your white black sleeves over here, which look good as well. No tattoos on the guy. This is before he had all of his tattoos. He did have some over here, I do believe, that are covered by the sleeves. But back looks good. You know, no weird striations or anything. I think it all looks pretty natural. You got your zebra print on the back pockets and on the side pockets, which is very classic Jeff Hardy. Very iconic there. Love the white pants. They look really good. And then he has white kick pads on there with the black outsoles, which I want to say he's done that before, but this looks good, man. Really good stuff. I'm enjoying the figure a lot. Now, as far as articulation goes, I mean, it pretty much feels like a Jeff Hardy Elite, man. It pretty much does. I mean, you get the full deal here. You do get nice butterfly joint right there. Double jointed arm. I mean, he can do all the different things that you need to. I don't think you're going to be disappointed in that. He can't go wide splits, though, because he's not on ball joints, but he does have a nice double jointed knee and, and stuff like that. But I'm enjoying the figure. Really, really fun, but I, again, I, I love Jeff Hardy figures. Ever since we got that first Jeff Hardy when he returned back to the company at WrestleMania, I mean, I've just been all aboard the Jeff Hardy figure train. I mean, I was on the train way before that, but you guys get what I mean. So for your Jeff Hardy figure comparisons, here is the first Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy, and you guys can just see the difference in this torso. Look how much natural this one looks compared to this one, and this one actually stands a little bit taller anyway, so like, that just shows you how much better this torso is on this body. That is pretty fantastic how much better that looks. Like, good God in heaven, and it's way more proportionate. Like, the arms are shorter and the torso looks more natural. That's just brilliant. Uh, I mean, it, it really is just a game changer. Look how nice that is, but it is cool to see these up next to each other. This did have face paint, but I painted it skin tone, but God, I need to, I don't know, could you get this torso, but then you'd be missing a lot of tattoos. I don't know, maybe get decals. I don't know. There's, there's ways to do it, but there is your Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy figure comparisons. And then for your Jeff Hardys from around this era that we've already seen from Mattel, you do have the Elite 75 and then the SmackDown 2-pack with Triple H Jeff Hardy. And all three of these are from around the same time frame, you know, about one to two, three years apart here. And I like this a lot. I like the way they all look. This one is definitely superior to this one. I'd love to see what this torso looks like on this body. Of course, you wouldn't have your, you know, your butterfly joints or anything, but I think the white shirt would look really good over here. I might have a white tank top, uh, like, deal in my drawer that I could probably throw in here just to see what it looks like, but it is cool to see all these Jeff up next to each other. I'm enjoying it. It, it. Awesome stuff. Any Jeffs, I'm all aboard, man. I can't wait for the Unrivaled. And then for more comparisons, here is Jeff Hardy up next to his brother Matt Hardy in matching white pants. So, you know, you got your white pants Matt Hardy's up next to your white pants Jeff Hardy. So, you know, if you wanted to mix and match or acetone or whatever, this is kind of what Matt was looking like when Jeff looked like that. So, I mean, that kind of works there too. So, this is a whiter white than that white though. This is kind of a dingy looking white now. I don't know if it's because it's old or just because Matt's dingy. I don't know what that's about. But I think that pretty much is going to wrap up this WWE Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy review. Really enjoyed it, man. Really, really do enjoy this figure. I mean, I am a Jeff Hardy mark. Like, he's one of my favorites of all time. So, I mean, I probably do have a little bit of bias in there, but I love the double joint. Like, I, I love the white pants. There's so many options there. It's a really unique look. The head sculpts are a lot better than I was imagining. I think that the open mouth one is a bit weird. I think I would have liked to see like a determined one, you know, like three interchangeable ones. Have your screaming expression, of course. Have your little weird open mouth one, or even maybe a smirk, and then have like a pissed off determined style Jeff Hardy, you know, with the prominent eyebrows. I think that would do a lot for this figure, but the head sculpts look a hell of a lot better in person than they looked in the images, and I think if you painted them up or changed them up a little bit, they would be even more incredible, but I do like the, this figure a lot. I really, really do. I, I can't wait to, you know, get into more Ultimate Editions this year. I feel like I've already reviewed a ton this year, and we're going to do our top five or 10 of the year. We're going to do our top 10 WWE figures of the year, of course, at the end of the year and stuff like that, but had a ton of fun with the review, man. I think that it's worth the pickup, especially if you like Jeff Hardy. I like this era of Jeff Hardy right here a lot, and it's a very
very unique look. You get, I mean, it's it, I'm MDT and I got zebra zebra print on my on my white pants. Jeff Hardy, nostalgia and just classic. I mean, that's just perfection right there. That, those two things are two of my favorite things: white attires and zebra print. I mean, what what are we doing here? But anyways, man, that is gonna wrap up the review. If you guys like to grab this, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves ten percent. Before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout out. And today's shout out is gonna go to someone random. Yeah, that's his name, someone random. He said, "I would back an Attitude Era or Ruthless Aggression crowdfunder easily," and I am right there with you, Brad. I'm. I mean, I'm gonna back it no matter what it is because you know, so like I, I talked about this in yesterday's video. Sometimes you have to, uh, or at least in my case right now, I backed last year's crowdfunder because I wanted to believe in the line. I wanted to, you know, make sure that we got stuff in the future. So I bit the bullet. It wasn't for me this time, but you know, I bit the bullet and I put my money forward and uh, hopefully it comes back around. It's for me, you know, and maybe it'll be the Attitude Era or Ruthless Aggression Era next time. But huge shout out to someone random. If you would like a random shout out in a future video, leave me a comment down below. Like the video, subscribe, and uh, that pretty much wraps it up, man. But I enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed day and don't end up like, I don't, I don't, I don't even know, man. You know, I, I'm just looking forward to these reveals today. You crossed the line.